I apologize about the technical difficulties. We're gonna start again with a one-handed plank. We only have about five minutes left before we stretch, and that'll be it. Okay. The options for the plank, hands or knees. Both knees down, bodies at a diagonal, one knee up or both knees up. Go to your heart, hands right under. There you go. Wider feet is going to make it a little bit easier to hold your balance because we're going to bring one hand up and we're holding. Yes, this is a challenge. It's a solid challenge for a reason. You bring it down and switch. And if you can't do it, hold your plank. You don't ever have to do anything past your comfort level. Come on down and hold. Three, two, and one. Please know, I will always show you options. Go to your heart, but don't go past it. The one hand stuff is hard, but I want to challenge those that can do it to get to another level. We're gonna do that one more time. So hands right under your shoulders or elbows. Starting down with two knees, one knee, or come on up. And you're breathing, please. Come on, four, three, two, come on down. Hand is right under that shoulder or your wrist. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent, that is so hard. Okay, grand finale right here, and then we're gonna stretch. Okay, lots of options. Option number one. Doing a mat dance, seriously. Option two, you're gonna come back just to your, your core gauge and come up. Head, neck, spine in a straight line. Option three, you come down and come up super slowly. Do whatever option is best for you. This is it, last thing. I'm gonna come back, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, two, hello, core, how are you? Now your arms can come back, two, three, up. Or you can hold your hands here and go back to make it a small range of motion, still feel it, or back, two, three, four, why not, have some fun, okay, two more, bring it up, last one right here, back, two, hold it here, bring those arms out wherever you are, stop dancing if you're dancing, hold, two, three, four, come on up, put that weight down, come back on your back and stretch it out. We're going to bring your knees into your chest and gently roll side to side. That feels so good. Oh my gosh. Great work today. Bring one leg down, bring the other knee into your chest. I hope you feel super proud of yourself and amazing in your own skin. That is uh, no easy three days in a row, that is for sure. And let's switch sides. It is work to get back into shape, but you are absolutely worth the time that it takes to do so. And just think we only have seven more times together. <sighs> Bring your knees to your chest and roll on up. Let's have those legs straight out in front of you again. This really depends on your flexibility. This might be a great stretch for you, and that's fine. You might want to go a little further, touch your ankles, touch your shins. Everybody is at a different flexibility level. You might need to get a not, not, not. You might want to get a towel, put it around your feet to help you out. That's totally fine. I want you to come down until your hamstrings say, oh, that's good right there. Same thing for your low back. Look down towards your knees and just breathe into that beautiful stretch. The stretch is like dessert. Actually, that's what I've said for years. Stretching is like dessert for your muscles because it feels so good and is so needed for your body. Let's come on up. I want you to put one foot over the other leg. Here's your arm. Twist and look behind you. I'm gonna stay facing you though because I want to be able to see you. This beautiful spinal twist that feels so so good. And let's do the other side. Opposite arm over here. You're looking behind you. I can kind of 
kind of look over my shoulder. <laughs> uh, and come to the front. Cross those legs. Put your fingertips on the ground. Drop the head the opposite way. Yes, we did this before, but this is my favorite neck stretch. Because a lot of times we're like this all day long and it just feels good to release that chin to your chest and switch sides. Ugh. Thank you so much for making this a part of your day. I highly advise you to get it done in the morning if you can, then whatever comes up during the rest of the day, you will never not get it in. Let's bring your arm across your body. Once the day gets going, so many things can come up and I wanna make sure we get this in every day for the 10 days of the challenge that we're gonna work out together. And let's switch. Did a lot of balance today. How do you feel with the balance? If it was crazy hard, great. We will keep on working on it and you will see a big improvement between now and the end of the two weeks. I want you to tuck your chin into your chest, round your, sho round your shoulders, arms out in front. Great, big deep breath up and out. Thanks so much for spending the time with me today. Have an amazing rest of the day.